Well, good afternoon uh, and welcome to the mother of all brides, as, as we are fond of calling this event. Uh, this is an event that uh, some of us have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. Now, working together, uh, the U.S. and South Africa will be able to move beyond uh, just uh, these narrow uh, trade issues uh, tied uh, to this one-way provision, but instead we can mature uh, our economic relationship, mature our trade relationship, and move towards what we like to call a partnership uh, for prosperity uh, moving on. The thing that has me most motivated, most inspired about the resolution of AGOA is the partnership that we now have uh, with our uh, HDI uh, importers. Knowledge. This sister is with Mega Foods. Uh, give her a nice hand, round of applause. Uh, and she is one uh, of the uh, importers who uh, will be managing uh, the chicken that's coming in uh, and will be using it to grow her industry, grow her uh, community, and to grow South Africa as well. So thank you so very much for your partnership. We're, we're thrilled. And this just represents uh, the tip of what we'll be doing uh, with one another. I, I also know that through our Cochrane, our Cochrane Fellowship, uh, we have uh, another dozen or so uh, importers that will be in the U.S. Uh, for some period of time, uh, learning the industry from that side and then bringing those skills and that information back here uh, to South Africa. Uh, in, just in the South African team, in USDA, uh, in, in, the, in DAF, some of the best uh, vets in the world. In fact, the president of the World Animal Health Organization, the OIE, is uh, uh, Dr. Morisane. And I have it on their authority um, that uh, the chicken that will be coming in from the US and that has already come in and passed through our ports is safe and healthy. It's the same chicken that you eat and it's the same chicken that you have passed on to our consumers. So, what do you think of the chicken? Fantastic. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Taste of freedom.